You've probably seen the signs for and against Proposition B, and you probably can't miss all those television advertisements as well. It is the biggest issue on the ballot for Houston voters this November. Tonight, Channel 2 Investigates is taking an in-depth look at the issue of firefighter pay parity. We're hearing arguments from both sides and revealing who's behind these advertisements. Investigator Robert Arnold explains how we got to this point and what's at stake for both sides. Public safety has to be at the number one priority within the city of Houston. The rhetoric is coarse and the predictions dire. This is bad, folks. Houston firefighters are asking voters to force the city to raise their pay up to the level of Houston police officers. It's called pay parity. That is Proposition B. I believe that the city of Houston has to make the brave men and women who go out there and put their lives on the line every day a priority. Mayor Sylvester Turner says if Prop B passes, the city would have to find nearly $100 million to fund the pay increases. The city controller estimates the cost around $85 million. Either way, Turner says it means hundreds of layoffs and other cuts. Turner says he already has his department's preparing plans to make these cuts if Proposition B passes. It is like a storm. When you see a storm coming, you have to start making preparation. This is nothing more than the mayor being political vindictive the Houston firefighters have played by the rules but Turner is not alone in sounding the alarm and the only way that the city is going to be able to pay for this is to have to lay off firefighters and lay off police officers the Houston Police Officers Union and police chief Art Acevedo have spoken out against Proposition B as has fire chief Sam Pena all saying if Proposition B passes the cuts will be deep the police union even sunk its own money into this fight. Just look at campaign finance reports for the Protect Houston Political Action Committee, which is anti-Proposition B. The only two contributors listed are Turner, $25,000 from his own campaign funds, and $35,000 from the police union. The union's finance reports show tens of thousands more spent on advertising. The people of this city need to be educated on what Proposition B really is. What Proposition Proposition B will do is take away the politics from public safety. Langdon argues the union tried to reach an agreement over pay last year, but Turner and the city wouldn't negotiate in good faith. Video of those negotiations clearly highlight an impasse. Tell me what you want to work That's, on. I've told I've, you. We've already given you a list. All choice. Turn the lights out. The mayor didn't show up to one day one day of contract negotiations. The mayor shot back in a statement to KPRC, reading the same process was used when negotiating with police and municipal employees, and all negotiations were conducted in good faith. The fire union is the only employee group that rejected the city's offer of a pay raise, 9.5% raise over three years. Before that, the union rejected a 4% raise from the previous mayoral administration. That previous administration was led by Mayor Anise Parker. They told me that they wouldn't come back to the bargaining table. They thought they could get a better deal with the new mayor. Parker says these stalled negotiations are why the fire department's pay has fallen behind other similarly sized departments. When they say they've been operating without a contract, that was their choice. Langton disputes this too, saying the union tried to ask for a 2% pay increase, but wanted previously cut benefits restored he said were promised. Langton says that was rejected. It's all wonderful and great that the political talking points have continued to take over, but that's not the truth. Neither the mayor nor police union argues firefighters deserve a raise, but this battle goes a lot deeper and is a lot more complicated. In fact, both sides are preparing for a court hearing next week. That part of the story is under the investigate section of click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.